Hey guys, Colin here from CH Gadgets and this is the brand new A23 Plus from New Mobile. And just to get you up to speed, New Mobile is a smartphone brand that is making devices for more than a decade now. And if you go back and check on my channel, you would notice that over the years, I've reviewed a few of their devices such as the G3 and the G3 Plus. But here we are with the brand new A23 Plus which is a budget device. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna unbox it and see what this thing has to offer. Let go. So finally unbox it and here you go. The A23 out of the box. This is what it looks like out of the box. I went ahead and just did that unboxing as a short. So you could probably go watch that short if you wanna see what came in the box. But right now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna jump in and talk about the A23 Plus. And before we even get into anything else, I want to show you something. When is the last time that you saw a phone that could do this? Give me a sec. Ah, when the last time you saw a phone that could do this? You could also, um, you can also do this. Bam! Look at that. <laughs> Yo, new be doing it, man. They be bringing us back. You don't get these no more. All right, let's talk about this thing and what it has to offer. Now, the A23 Plus comes with a 6.3 inch HD display with three gigs of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage and is all being powered by the MediaTek Octa-Core processor equipped with enough power to deliver some stable performance for basic daily use such as browsing, streaming, and possibly some light multitasking and I do emphasize light. But it also has a micro SD card slot that support cards up to 512 gigabytes if you want more than the 64 gigabyte and trust me you're probably going to need more than just the 64 gigabyte as far as the cameras go you get an 8 megapixel main shooter along with an undisclosed second camera i don't know what it is and they didn't say and on the front you get a 5 megapixel front facing selfie camera now i'm not going to sit here and tell you that the cameras are amazing from this thing because it's not but i mean it takes the kind of photos that you would assume phone that is under 100 dollars would cut would, would take and that are okay photos in daylight and struggle when low light appear i'm gonna show you some samples you could probably check them out you're probably watching them right now you could judge for yourself but to be honest it can get the job done it will take something if you have nothing else but ideally if you want to take photos for instagram and stuff like that this is probably not the camera you'd want but like i say during daytime almost any camera like these would probably take okay photos so i give it a pass for that now believe it or not this thing can support dual sim 4g lte and it comes with a 3850 milliamp hour battery and android 13 out of the box now i'm not going to say it is one of the fastest budget smartphones but it does operate okay for what it is it's a phone that costs under a hundred dollars and i'm gonna get to who this phone is for just as soon as I tell you a little bit more about what this thing can do. So the A23 Plus was about $100-ish at launch, but I think you can get it right now on new mobile website for about 86 bucks. And for 86 bucks, you get a really decent display. You get an okay camera and you can take the battery out. I think that is one of the biggest selling point of this smartphone period you can get all of what android 13 has to offer it has a decent performance it has almost everything that you would need a phone to do you know except having an incredibly dynamic camera the speakers are good you can watch videos you can do almost everything that everybody else can do with their smartphone but like i said the biggest selling point for me and probably one of the reasons why i would keep this thing is because you can take that battery out and right now that is a very scarce commodity and i don't know if you noticed but there's a lot of situations going on where people are wishing that they could actually take the battery out of their phones but they can't so for that this one is a big selling point you get a headphone jack just in case you got a wired headphone that you want to use that you got sitting around and i mean for everything else i think the new mobile a23 plus is a really good buy at 86 dollars for what it has to offer it is 
probably giving you a little bit more than what $86 is, probably like $130 worth of stuff for 86 bucks. So for that reason, I think this could possibly be a stocking stuffer, maybe, or just something that someone, your grandma, your aunt, you know, your uncle who doesn't want to really get into all the other fancy smartphones and you just want to get something budget that can work, that can do what it need to do. Got a plastic back, got a decently strong glass on the front, or I think this would be great for your little nephew or your little cousin that you want to get a smartphone. They want to watch some YouTube. They want to see Ninja play on Twitch. You can get them this and they can get all this stuff done and you don't have to worry about you coming out of pocket too much and they still get a really good smartphone. Yes, it got a big chin. Yes, you can see the bezels. Uh, it got okay cameras, but I don't think the person that is going to get this is asking for too much. They just want something that get the job done. And for that case, I'm gonna shut up. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like these, click my face to get subscribed and make sure you click the like button on your way out. Let me know what you think about this one if you have it. And let me know if there's anything I missed and I didn't talk about. Leave it down in the comment section and I'm gonna jump down there. I'm gonna answer some questions. And then if you know, I might just do a follow up on this one and tell you how it's been going on. Thank you for watching. It's your boy. Big up yourself. Ooh.